cycle view and push-pull view of supply chains. When we look at the supply chain in details, we can recognize that there are a number of cycles uh, that connect different companies in the supply chain. In every cycle, we will see a customer triggers an order, then supplier fulfills the order, and then the customer receives the order. And what we call here a customer, we don't think about uh, the, 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 the end customer. We were talking about any company. So, for example, when a retailer is running out of a certain product and uh, wants to get more units of that product, they will uh, request the uh, quantity from a distributor. Distributor receives the order. It checks its inventory. If it has enough uh, units, then it uh, sends a shipment right to the retailer so that's the second stage and our second uh, step and then the customer which is now the retailer will receive an order right the differences in those cycles are for example uncertainty in demand when the customer who wants a toothpaste goes to a retailer and, and picks it up and pays for it um, then uh, the demand is actually certain we know the customer just needs a toothpaste and this is we're just fulfilling the demand that exists however when the distributor let's say orders from the manufacturer then the demand uncertainty is very high the distributor let's say purchases 5,000 toothpaste from the manufacturer hoping there will be demand uh, eventually some customers will want this toothpaste also order size will be different order size at the customer level is usually one or very few units at the distributor ordering from the manufacturer, this can go into thousands of units. Frequency will differ as well, right? Customers will buy daily. Um, let's say a retailer will experience a lot of daily demand for, uh, for some uh, units of product, whereas uh, maybe distributor might order from the manufacturer once a month. Lead time may also differ, right? A customer receives the units almost immediately. A retailer might have... Uh, when, when they order from the distributor, there might be one week uh, delivery time or two-day delivery time. When distributor orders from the manufacturer, maybe manufacturer will deliver to the distributor in one month. The cycles can also be seen through a push-pull view of uh, supply chains. Certain cycles that we defined earlier will be done in anticipation of the actual customer demand and we call those push processes and other cycles will be done in response to uh, customer demand right the end customer we're talking here about end customer demand and we call those pull processes pull means that the demand has occurred and the customer is pulling uh, for some uh, actions to take place typically the pull process will be customer order cycle Right When uh, the retailer, for example, a customer buys a toothpaste, well, this is a pull process because the demand is just uh, occurring. Whereas uh, the other uh, stages in the typical supply chain, like procurement of uh, parts for a manufacturer, then manufacturing cycle, then replenishment from uh, manufacturer to distributor or then further to retailer, these usually are done as push processes. They are done in anticipation of demand. We say that there is this push-pull boundary, which is uh, defined by when the customer order arrives. So if you consider two example companies um, with push-pull view and, cust uh, and uh, cycle view of supply chains, one of them, the first of them, will be L.L. Bean. At L.L. Bean, uh, L.L. Bean is a company that makes uh, clothing and outdoor recreational equipment and they usually deliver it uh, they sell over internet through e-commerce or maybe you could in the in, in the older times you could order by phone from them uh, ll bean often uh, right uh, will uh, procure some parts and manufacture and replenish some inventories internal maybe inventories uh, distribution centers uh, before the demand occurs and then they wait for the customer demand and when customers order let's say on a website then they deliver so just customer order cycle will be done as a pool process in another example 
De Dell company. Dell is a company that develops, sells, repairs, and uh, uh, supports computers and related products. Um, in Dell, the pull process includes not just a customer order, uh, but also a manufacturing cycle. Uh, how does this work in Dell? Well, Dell has something called a direct sales model. Actually, they no longer use the direct sales for all their products, but you can still buy some computer configurations from them in the direct sales uh, mode. And the idea is you go to a website nowadays, you configure your computer, and then you, when you uh, purchase it, you make a payment, you already uh, right? So there is demand for this configuration. And at that stage, right, the customer order uh, cycle happens, but also the manufacturing cycle is initiated because Dell does not make, uh, does not store the ready configuration for your computer. It, it will actually assemble it to your specification. So the manufacturing cycle or assembling cycle uh, specifically in this case, happens only after the demand has occurred. So the pool processes include manufacturing cycle and the boundary is shifted. And of course, this provides an advantage for Dell because Dell can uh, provide a very large variety of products uh, without uh, storing uh, finished finished configurations, they may actually assemble them to order. Now, in fact, for certain uh, cost efficiencies, Dell will offer some standard configurations that they uh, that they manufacture in anticipation of demand. So this uh, division into pull and push processes is not as straightforward. It doesn't happen for all possible configurations at Dell.